every other human being on the planet that Jesus died for. Okay, did you get that? Clear? You're blocking your blessing and your spiritual warfare. You're going to be defeated because you're not following biblical principles. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whomever should believe in his name should not perish but have everlasting life. So you should be praying for India. You should be praying for Afghanistan. You should be praying for Pakistan. You should be praying for Africa. You should be praying over the other nations. Matter of fact, you should spend more time praying over other, other people because by you praying for other people, you get blessed. God, help me, help me, help me. You know how selfish that sounds? Sounds like a little baby. Wah, wah, wah. Feed me, feed me, feed me. Then they get full. But when you're really a man or woman of God, you're not asking God to bless you for you. You're saying, God, bless me with abundance. Why do you want abundance? So I can buy a Ferrari. No, you want abundance so that you can bless other people. The reason why you're not being blessed, because God knows he can't get it from you to somebody else. Did you hear me? The reason why you're working 60 hours a week, the reason why you don't have enough money, the reason why your finances is jacked up, it's a spiritual battle that you're losing. Because all you want is enough to take care of yourself. And you know what Solomon asked for? He could have asked for anything in the world. You know what Solomon said? Give me the wisdom so that I can so that I can govern your, your people, Lord. And because he prayed that he was the richest man that ever lived. Richer than Donald Trump. Uh, oops. All right. 